Let us welcome Carmen Rose. Carmen. Welcome to the couch. Thank you for having me on the couch. Come, have a seat. Well. It's important to take the applause that you're receiving tonight, Carmen. Uh, thank you so much for uh, allowing me to join you for a third week in a row on your couch. And may thank I say you. it looks, looks comfortable. Yes, thank you, James, for joining me on the couch. May I just say, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, you look like shit. <laughs> well, may I say that I thought that your delivery, I thought you were also using a text-to-speech application. <laughs> can, we, can we get into this? I've never been greeted so poorly in my life. What was what that What are now? you wearing, James? What am I wearing? My regular yeah. clothes. Describe it for me, please. Describe? Okay, so for anyone who, who can't figure this little number out, uh, underneath, I'm wearing a white Vans brand t-shirt. On top, I'm wearing an American Eagle black and red flannel that I purchased about four to five years ago. On top, I am wearing a Quicksilver hat that I have owned for roughly one year so top to bottom, I'm dressed in a, a Tony Hawk pro skater wannabe outfit. That seems to be your look of the of the times these days. Look at the times, yeah, of these days, I would suggest of the past uh, 15 years. James, mm -hmm. sorry to tell you, but it's time to change. Well, I like that you you followed up with, I'm sorry to tell you, but when you told me I look like shit, you just burst right into that, no pre-apology. No, I said I meant it in the nicest way possible. Right. So you're you're telling me that it's time to switch it up. James, mm -hmm. on tonight's episode, I'm going to give you a full life makeover. Okay, so not just physically, but you're giving me a life makeover. So in addition to looking like shit, are you am I to believe rather that my life is shit? James, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it right now. Okay. From the looks of it, your life is shit. <laughs> Come on Tell now. Me. Come on, it's, it's just, not so bad. Well, okay, let's 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 break it down. What uh, what are you doing professionally these days? Well, this has been. I feel like this comes up multiple times throughout uh, every every uh, bundle of shows a week. It's well documented on this show that the company I was working for went bankrupt in the in the early early uh, times of August. So currently, I'm working for no one. Wow, unemployed. Unemployed is the way to put it. Yes. Okay, so that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how are your finances? How are my finances? I would say that uh, I uh, take care of my finances quite reasonably. So. I'm not particularly worried about my finances, despite being, as you would put it, unemployed. 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 James, mm -hmm. how can we turn that around? Well, I think it's uh, pretty simple. The answer I would suspect is get a job. <laughs> so that's the right answer. That's the right answer. And that's step one of your life makeover. Okay, well, uh, right now it's, uh, I'm really leaning into that Serb. I'm really leaning into Serb. Did your air horn just go off again? Yes. Yeah. Life makeover. Yeah. Now tell me, James, how's your health? My health is, uh, I would say fair. It's, I, I have no lingering health issues. Why do you ask? When's the last time you've been to the doctor? The last time I went to the doctor was probably, I would say 2000, 2019, Let's say, spring 2019. Okay, okay. So about a year ago. A little yeah, that's, a that's year right, ago. yes. And what was, what was the prognosis? Well, the prognosis was I went for a, a lingering 
cough that I couldn't get rid of. And the prognosis was it'll go away. Lingering cough. Wow. It's a bad thing to have in the time of COVID. But well, it wasn't. It was in 2019, early 2019. Right, right. Um, I'm just seeing in the chat, uh, Carla is reminding me about your ringworm. Yeah, okay, yeah, so this is again, is a, last Saturday, I let everyone know that I have uh, semi-regular bouts with ringworm that generally tends to flare up around the fall season. So anywhere in the next, uh, let's say six to eight weeks, I'm probably due to get a nasty case of ringworm, which for people who don't know, I would classify as human fungus. James. Carmen. What is your problem? <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, on some level, it's hygienic. Hygiene. That was my next topic. Okay. Get your shit together. Look, all things considered, it could be worse. I shower regularly. And there's a, there's a variety of ways that someone can contract ringworm. Okay, like how? Well, uh, dirty clothes. Gross. You can get it. You can get it from somebody else. Gross. Or moisture. So apparently I might I might uh, be wearing dirty clothes, hanging out with dirty people, or I wear moist pants. All of those things need to change, James. Okay, fair, fair. I am, I am here to be your advocate in moving forward. Okay. And creating a new life. So we well, have go out, get a job. Mm-hmm. Stop wearing moist pants. Stop hanging out with dirty people. Right. And get like an ointment or something. Well, I do have an ointment. That's how I get rid of it. Okay, well, let's let's layer it on a little thicker, okay? Okay, so, and just, just for the record, I'm 99% certain I did not catch ringworm from any person. This Next is self-inflicted. you're gonna tell me you have pink eye. Well, I've had pink eye many times. James, do you know how you get pink eye? From a variety of ways. You can catch it from someone who's got pink eye, uh, pillowcases, or unfortunately, if you get some type of fecal matter in your eyes. Exactly. Which, you know who else has had bouts of pink eye? Who? The show's very own Dave Kaufman has had pink eye recently. Dave, Dave, if you can hear me. That's true. I... Uh, you're next for the life makeover, okay? Okay. Come join okay, us so on the couch next week, how about? Thank you, graciously. Um, moving on, yes, I've had pink eye, yes. Okay, so, and now, James, next, moving on, we've talked about this, we've talked about your love life. You have a, you have a lovely person in your life who's been, who's been trying to date you, who's, who, who believes they are dating you and you have continuously rejected her you've right. even gone so far as to hit on her mother mm. what is going on with your love life where okay so so we're talking about uh steph mercy Voye, who hosts covid 69 every friday on this show now you hit the nail right on the head as uh, people who enjoy home repair like to say in that she believes now to me, we're just friends. Why can't people just be friends anymore? That sounds like something out of a terrible movie trailer. Because finding your partner is one of the most important things you can do in this life. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We agree. We agree. You know who, okay. you know who has found a partner on this show? The man in the booth, Dave Kaufman. He Dave. found a partner. Yes. David. I You're love one, my wife. One notch ahead of. Pardon? I love my wife. <laughs> he didn't sound too convinced in saying that. Um, sound very fast, like it was something that he was being forced to say. But Carmen, we agree. We agree on everything that that you're saying tonight. Frankly, I feel attacked. Okay. Well, you know what, James? One thing we don't agree on. Sure. Now. <laughs> is your sense of style. And I think- <laughs> No, we don't. It, <laughs> you say we don't agree? I don't agree with that. I know, that's what I'm saying. We don't agree on this. Mm -hmm. Listen, 
when it comes to all these things, when it comes to a life makeover, it starts with what you're wearing. Okay. So this, I have a very special surprise for you. Okay. I am going to give you a physical head to toe makeover. Okay. I thought you were going to stop at physical just to make sure my health was in order. So Carmen, just so we're clear, barely anyone can hear your goddamn air <laughs> horn. It's like subtle. It sounds like it's playing out of my window. Someone in my, in the park across the. What do you mean? Why? Well, that's for your phone to decide. I heard it. Yeah, I think you're, you have your hand over the speaker, Carmen. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, moving on. I've, <laughs> I've, um, you know, you can send me, you can send these, these uh, clips to Dave who works in the booth, right? Yeah, but it, you know, it's not, it's not predictable when the air horn is going to be needed to come in, you know? That's true. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I've compiled Chase, some, a uh, number of looks for you for mm -hmm. your fresh new makeover. Yeah. Okay. So this first one I like to call. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call the business trip. Can yeah? Can what am I carrying there? Is that some type of uh, uh, cooler? It is a leather, a beautiful leather suitcase mm -hmm. that matches a beautiful leather belt. Yep. We have a yellow polka dot tie, a nice, a nice. Um, what do you call that? Really, really small, like a vest. Yeah. No, the vet, but the pattern. Anyways, a vest mm -hmm. and a gray tweed jacket. All right, so I can, now this Matthew is James. a very dapper look. It seems a little bit British mod, which I can get behind. Now, where do you think I'm going with this suitcase? Well, you could be going to um, a job interview. In right, I, yeah, well, yeah, what job interview am I going for? Uh, the role of James Bond? <laughs> No, it's your overnight bag. This is oh, so, my, so I'm trip. taking an overnight bag to a job interview in another city. Okay, so I'm traveling, and I uh, it looks like by the look of my face, I'm looking up at the departure times, and I can't figure out what my flight number is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But okay, so what do you think? How do you feel about this first look? It looks. I think it looks good, and I'll let people in the chat kind of determine whether they. I could see myself wearing it. Looks good. Great. Great. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. For my okay. for, for my looking. for my out of town overnight, what was that now, Dave? What's what are you thinking? You're looking ravishing, James. <laughs> yeah, looking ravishing. Okay, this next look mm -hmm. is called Casual Friday. Okay, so this one is I don't think it's for me. It looks like I'm ready to go listen to Post Malone yes, with a bunch have... of teenage women. You have the very famous chunky white sneaker. Yeah, CWS. Yeah, um, black turtleneck, telephone. You have an arm purse. Yeah, can you bring that closer? Oh, okay, great, yeah, because I've always been known for my interest in arm purses. Um, and this over, this short sleeve sweater. Yeah, if we can get my facial expression again. Yeah, this, this uh, again is the look of someone is like, what? Why am I hanging out with all these teenagers listening to Post Malone? Okay, so I'm taking that as a, you don't love this. I would say that it's not for me. Uh, let's check in with Dave. Dave, what do you think about this urban cool guy look? You look smashing. Okay, so I went from ravishing to smashing. I would say this one's not for me. Okay. The sweater's not that bad, but I uh, generally don't care uh, to wear white sneakers. So we'll put that in the no pile. Yep. Okay, the next look is what I like to call laundry day. Okay, so can, yeah, can we go in tight? It looks like I'm wearing some type of bomber jacket or is that a fur coat? It's a fur jacket. Yep. Green fur jacket, golden pants. Yep. Hiking boots. Yeah, is this from the Dennis Rodman collection? Yeah, kind of. With a with an over the shoulder bag. Yeah. Okay. So, so again, this, this is for when this is for when you're you're like 
all your nice clothes are kind of in the wash and you're just hanging out around your apartment or close by in the neighborhood. Okay, so 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 because my clothes are in the wash, I feel uh I feel uh, the need to put on a fur jacket. That's right. Let's get that face again. Yeah, that's that's the look of me uh wondering do we do another one of these segments next week? <laughs> I'm going to put that one in the no pile, Carmen. Okay, no pile it goes. Now, James, I think you're really going to like this next one. Okay. Well, if we're if we're playing the averages, the answer to that might be no. Okay. So it's interesting to me, can we get it like yeah, can we go even further back? Yeah, so why do I have a variety of bags in all of these in all of these images? Because bags are the accessory of this of the summer, of the fall. Okay, so the, the bags are the accessory of the summer, excuse me, the fall, glug, glug, glug. Um now take us through what yeah, all of the all of these outfits, except for the first one, remind me of someone who's going to enjoy post Malone. Well, this one is called, I don't think I said what the name of this one is. Yeah, what is it? This one's called From the Gym to the Club. Okay, so From the Gym to the Club. So yeah. apparently in this scenario, I've, I've, uh, I've embraced wanting to have a Zac Efron-like body, and then I leave the gym apparently at midnight, and I thought, oh, man, I better get to the club. Let me get my leather bag and my uh, giant jacket. It's not just any leather bag. It's a Louis Vuitton gym bag. All right. So, okay. And I'm, I've got so, a nice wristwatch there. Yeah. Can we get my facial expression? The, yeah, this facial expression is uh, how much longer am I going to live? So I'll, I guess we'll put that in the no. That's going to go hard no, I think. Okay. Although I, I think I pref if, if I had to rank them, I would go number one, the suit. Number two, uh, hanging out with teenage women. Number three, that one. And number four, Dennis Rodman. Okay, number Dennis Rodman was last. Laundry, laundry day was last. Yeah, laundry day was last. Okay, James, tell me, what do you think of this one? Oh, now this one... This one I like, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like I've put this on and I've gone to order some food and I'm waiting up against a pillar to get it. Can we, can we zoom in on this shirt? Yeah, I feel like I could replicate this right now. Yeah, hold, keep that, yeah. If I maybe like get, get my leg up a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. That's very cool. I don't I don't know how much I like these this footwear. They seem a bit like dad shoes. Otherwise, check out my face it as well. I'm just like, man, I'm having a good time. Dave in the booth, what do you think about this outfit for your boy? You look like shit. Oh. Okay, well, Carmen, what do you think about that outfit? James, that was a test and oh. you failed. Okay. You failed. The whole point here is for improvement. You need a makeover. I wish I could get this through your head. The way you are is not good enough. <laughs> you have no idea how many women have said that to me. Now, thank goodness you chose one of the outfits. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna do the big reveal now. Oh, yeah, the big reveal. Let's get the before. Yeah. Okay, now this is uh, a bit of an unfair image, I think, that you've selected um, in any event. Yeah, this is, I think, that this picture requires a bit of context in any event. Yeah, before. And the after. Okay, so, okay, so I went from, in, in your scenario, I went from doing a character piece to doing a job interview out of town. You went from a big loser virgin. Yeah to a dapper young gentleman on a business trip. Okay. Okay. Well, 
Carmen, here's what I want you to do. I want you to send me the receipt for all those printouts you did, and I'm going to try our best to start a Patreon to reimburse you. Listen, here at On the Couch with Carmen, we have our own production team. I can handle it. James, Who's on? Yep. I have a mission for you. Okay. Okay. Next time I see you, mm -hmm. let's have you in something like, like your new makeover look, okay? Okay, so I'll find a way to buy an entire suit um, after after losing my job. Yeah. Well, right, no. Great. No, listen. Yes. You're gonna get your job because that's on that's number one on the James full full life makeover. Yeah, my full body and life makeover. <laughs> Carmen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, as as much as it is, look, it's hard. And I'm, I'm speaking from the heart here, and this is to everyone, all of our guests tonight, you and everyone in the chat, sometimes it's hard to make change in your life. It's we true. get stuck in our lanes. And let me tell you something, those lanes, they feel safe. But sometimes you got to take a walk on the wild side. You got to change lanes. So maybe it's time I change lanes. That's what I like to hear, James. Carmen, I promise I'll do my best to be less shit next time I see you. Good job. Thank you so much for coming on the couch with Carmen. I am me. You are you. Everyone is everyone. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you next week.